pyramid now. So the method of method to draw the projection of the pyramid is the radial line method as the number of the radial lines are there. Now we will draw the projection of a prism. Prism means the parallel sides. Okay. So the development method will be parallel line method. I'm, I will come to know what is the parallel line method. Projection of the prism of base 30 mm side and axis 65 mm long is resting on its base on HP with two edges parallel to the VP. This car, okay. So the projection part has been drawn. Now we have to draw the develop part. Then after cutting, we'll do the develop. We'll modify the development portion. Now what I have to do? I have to extend the top edge. Okay. And at a certain distance, I have to draw a vertical edge. This is A, D, B, C, D, E, and F. So we have two number of edges, the top face and bottom face. Let us say the top face is A, B, C, D, E, and bottom face is e, A, B, C, F. So G, H, I, J, K, and L. Okay. Top face is A B C D E F G H A B C D E F. Then the bottom face is G H I J K L. Now name of these edges. This is okay. Top face I'm giving names as A B C D. So A. This is B and F. Next is. C and E, E dash and E dash, and last one is D dash. And the name of the bottom face is okay. So this is G dash. It's H and L. So H dash, my L dash. Next is I and K, so I dash, comma K dash, and the last is J dash. That's how the all the edges are found. Now see, so that will be capital A and capital G. Now our base side is 30 mm, so take points 30 mm apart. So we have 30 mm length, draw a vertical line. Again at 30 mm length, draw another vertical line. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. We have 6 number of places. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay, that uh, in, in. naming is not important here. We'll have to draw the development part. Okay. So it is cut by cutting plane. So the cutting plane position is same. I have kept the position same. It is cutting the base. We take another ink to defense it. So then we have what what to do that. We have to take a point, okay, 25 mm above, above the base. Then we have to draw a 45 degree inclined line. So that line we have a cutting pin line. Then by making two corners dark, we have to show two give two edges, two, two arrows to show the viewing side, view direction. Okay. Now, as we have already given names, so we know that two edges are here. So one dash, then two dash, three dash, four dash, again this is five dash, two dash, and this is seven dash. Okay. Now is this easy? A Yeah. 
I have to draw projection line from all the points. Okay. A, this is B, C, D, E, F, and also A. This is G, H. I Z E A and G. Okay, okay. So, yeah. so four now from three five draw another projection line. Then from two and six. Okay. Now you see four is on J. So where is J point? J is here, so this is point four. Okay, that's how I have to find the points. Okay, so this is four one, then three and five. So three is on C. And four is on E. C and E, C and E. So two points, so one point will be on C, and another point will be on E. Okay. So. So this is five, not four. Five suffix one. Next two and six, B and F. Let us say B point is two. And F point is six. Now again, these points are found because these are at a height from the base. So these points are found on the developed surface by drawing the horizontal lines or projection lines, but Finding one and seven is not possible here, as it is on the base. So, you know, what we have to do, we have to follow the method we have done previously. That is, we have to draw the projection line up to the top view. Okay, up to the top view. Then, what we have to do? So, from A, a point is there. So, let us say it is one. So, sorry, this is one, and that was seven. This is option. So I have drawn the projection line. Let us say this is one and this is seven. So, so take the measurement of A to one. So and cut it here. Sorry, it will be on the base. Sorry. It is on G and H, so take the measurement from G to 1, so that will be G1, okay. So we'll take the length G1 and cut it here, and to take the length uh, G27, G27, so G27, and cut it from G to L. I repeat again, so this is on the base, and on the base we have uh, GHIJKL, GHIJKL, okay. So, Starting from G, take the length G to 1, G to 1 and cut it here, and take the length G to 7, G to 7 and cut it here. So all the points are found. Now they are to be joined with the straight lines with the help of scale of set square. Okay. Four to five. Five to six and six to seven. So this point will be dark as this portion will remain and the other portions are removed. So from 2 to H, 3 to Y, then 4 to J, then 5 to K, then 6 to L. Okay, and the base only, okay. And only the base. So this portion will be will remain, so that will have to be shown with uh, continuous thick lines. So that portion remains. I am showing this here also, because here it will have to be shown. So axis line is imaginary line, so you don't have to duck it. Okay, so this position remains, and here this position will remain. So this is the developed portion, and this method is called parallel line method.
Mm -hmm. Rất là lên đường